Hi there, Cappy, and welcome back to Star Lotus Tarot. I'm going to be doing your tarot forecast for the month of November. I went ahead and uh, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a Celtic cross for you guys. Let's see what's going on for Cappies. First up, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Next, we have the Two of Swords upright, followed by the Four of Swords upright. Next, we have the Nine of Cups upright. And then we have Major Arcana of the World in reverse. And next, we have the Six of Pentacles upright. And then we have Major Arcana the Devil in the upright. And then we have the Ace of Swords reversed, followed by the Three of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. For your overall energy, you have the Ten of Wands. This card has been coming up a lot. <laughs> okay, the Ten of Wands um, in the upright position <coughs> speaks of too many worries, too many burdens, uh, feeling overworked, um, overburdened, like you Capricorns normally do. But it's good to see that it's in the reverse as your overall energy for the month, month of November. Maybe you guys are just letting go of some of your burdens, letting go of some of your worries. Maybe you're not worried so much about the things you were worried about before. And uh, perhaps you're delegating more of your duties and responsibilities and taking a little bit of that load off. I'm glad to see that because I always recommend when it's in the upright position for people to do that. But it looks like you cappies of have uh, figured that out for the month of November anyway. <laughs> That's good to see. Now, um, for your crossing energy, you have the Two of Swords in the upright position. The Two of Swords generally speaks of needing to make a decision. Now, sometimes um, in the Two of Swords energy, we're not making a decision because we don't want to take a look at our options, but sometimes it's just because the the road the decision is difficult. It's like, do I take this road or do I take that road? I don't really know what's the best course of action here. It uh, speaks of some indecision. Maybe some of you Capricorns have uh, an indecisive situation in your life or a life um, a situation in your life that's causing you to feel a little bit indecisive about it so there's some um, a need to make a decision but it's like you're just deliberating at this point in the month of november doesn't look like there's any rush to do anything about it so it's just like it's just one of those things where a decision might be sort of hanging over your head maybe it's a decision you need to make by the end of the month or or next month or something like that now in your past position you have the four of swords in the upright this is more distant past this would have happened maybe a month or two ago uh, the four of swords in the upright position can represent a need for rest or recuperation maybe some of you were not feeling well you were uh, ill and needed to take a recuperation time for others of you maybe you were just exhausted and uh, needed to take some R&R &R. Um, yeah there was definitely a need to take a step back and rest and recuperate in the past now, your recent past, you have the energies of the Nine of Cups in the upright position. This is the S card, uh, the Wish card. This has been coming up a lot, too. Uh, the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups have been coming up quite a bit today in the readings. Uh, the, this is a past energy that you're just kind of passing out of, and but it's still a part of your energy. It's about to become past energy, but you're still living it. Uh, this is the, you know, can represent the party card, cups feeling really full, uh, emotional abundance can represent, uh, you know, partying and getting along and enjoying the company of, of uh, others in a social gathering situation. It can represent having a wish fulfilled, a wish come true. So that's really nice energy, but it's passing and you're moving into the energies of the Six of Pentacles. From that that this is your uh, future energy present energy about to become future energy six of pentacles is a nice balance card it's a card that represents uh, generosity reciprocity 
and um, f just a balance. It's like if you need uh, something, say, from someone else, uh, you need to um, ask them for a loan or ask them for help in any way. It's like they, they will help you. It's like a yes card too. Um, if it's also asking you to be generous with others, if you're in a position to be able to help someone else uh, that needs your assistance. Um, it's a card that represents two equal quality for equal pay, equal amount of work. It's a very balanced card. It's, it's a good card of um, balance and generosity. Now, in your possible future, you have Major Arcana, the World card in reverse. If I'm not mistaken, I think you guys got this in your reading last week. Yeah, I think you did in the World in reverse. This card represents a needing to make a completion of something in your life like close out something that has been has been long standing this could be representing anything from a long standing job to a long standing relationship to a long standing home um career what have you when it's in the upright position this is like we're completing something it's i call it kind of like the the graduate card we're graduating from one stage or one phase of our life into something else and when the card is upright this is we are going with those energies however when the card is inverted like this this is there's some stuck energy there's a need to complete a cycle in some aspect or some area of your life and it's just not happening um and this is in your possible future so why it's not happening why these energies are stuck i don't know it's going to be different for all of you maybe it's just the timing isn't right yet could be maybe that's what you're trying to make the decision on um yeah maybe that's exactly why the two of swords is here the completion that you need to the part of your life that needs to be closed out you haven't made a decision yet on it i think that's why the world is in reverse Okay, mystery solved. <laughs> you need to get on that decision there, Cappy. Okay, now where you're coming from in the month of um, November is uh, the devil energy. This card associated with the planet Saturn, which rules Capricorn. Um, the devil energy in the upright position, this can be us feeling sort of stuck. And, oh, that also explains the need to make the, the change. Okay, this makes sense um it's uh, the devil energy in the upright it means feeling sort of stuck and bonded to something now for some of you it could be maybe a job that um has sort of run its course or even a career and maybe you need to look at other alternatives or other you know things um just basically other alternatives or <clears throat> but you're not for some reason maybe you just feel rooted and and bonded to this uh person place or thing um because that's what the devil energy is about it's about being kind of in bondage to something now for others of you it could be playing out because this card can speak of obsession and addictions so maybe some of you are struggling with it maybe if you are trying to quit drinking or smoking or gambling or workaholic i mean this addictions play out in so many different ways in our lives so it could be that uh, you're struggling a little bit with these energies in the month of november capricorn maybe there's th some things that you want to uh, move away from or give up and you're struggling with them you're um, you know feeling sort of rooted and bonded to something that maybe you don't feel is very good for you so whether that be in a job situation, a home situation, friendships, like it can play out. It's just a general read, right? So it can play out in a lot of different ways. And in your people and environment, you have the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. Now, the Ace of Swords upright, this is the sort of... Uh, clarity the beginning of truth and clarity and understanding new beginnings here but when it's in reverse um, this can often represent misunderstandings and a lack of clarity so again it's coming back to that two of swords energy it looks like you're trying to make a decision maybe on a couple of different things now having the ace of swords in reverse in your people and environment can be something to look out for because it could be that there's something in your environment that you're misunderstanding or you're not getting the full uh ramifications of it maybe you're 
looking at a situation from one point of view and thinking this is how it is when it really isn't. Or it could be that there's a lack of clarity or truth coming from people in your environment. Or maybe people in your environment are seeing you and misunderstanding you. So yeah, that's something to look at in terms of uh, your people and environment. And these are the, the people that you share, the others in your life, the people you share your your time and space with. So yeah, I just I'd look out for that. Maybe make sure in the month of November that you're making yourself very clear and people are not misunderstanding what you're doing or what you're saying. And uh, also too, vice versa, maybe get clarity, try and get clarity from other people if uh, you're misunderstanding a situation or people. Now, again, that can be in work life, that could be at home, uh, neighbors, anything. So in your uh, hopes and fears position, you have the three of pentacles in the upright position. Three of pentacles in the upright position, this is probably a hope. Um, this is uh, working well with others, um, seeing eye to eye with coworkers. Um, people that you're working together with a pro on a project with. So for some of you, maybe you've taken on a project that involves other people, or maybe uh, in your work situation, you're just hoping that it's smooth sailing there and that the co-workers and people you have to work with are going to be on the same page with you and, you know, you want to be uh, you want to be seeing eye to eye with people. It looks like that is definitely a hope. <coughs> now, in your final position, the card that ends the read ends the month. You have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is a card that, when it comes up, it's best to see it in the reverse position um, because upright, this can be uh, struggling with financial problems, security problems, home problems, those kinds of things. Sometimes in a relationship read, it can be being left out in the cold, that kind of stuff. But when it's in the reverse position, it's like uh, those energies could have been there at one point. Maybe some of you guys were feeling left out in the cold. Maybe some of you were having financial difficulties and this card was upright. But the good news is by the end of the month, the uh, those energies change. So you're no longer feeling left out in the cold and you're no longer feeling the financial pinch that the five of pentacles in the upright position can sometimes bring on. Um, this is more like uh, a release from that. You also have the Six of Pentacles in your read as well, which is card of reciprocity and generosity. So it looks like on a financial front, you're doing okay. You've come out of a financially tight time into a much better time on the financial front, but this is more towards the end of the uh, month. And uh, the immediate... Uh, future is that of the six of pentacles so financially it looks okay on the emotional front uh, you do have the nine of cups here which is energies you're still feeling but they're now waning into uh, other energies but it looks like the main thing that you have going on here uh, Capricorn is um, it involves perhaps other people um, the misunderstanding in your environment and um, there's a need to make a decision because you need to close out a cycle on something but maybe you need more clarity on that before you finally make this decision but it's good to see you you're releasing your burdens and you're releasing your worries in the month of november i hope this helped you capricorn if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe until next time bye for now